So we've made it to part nine of the Viking chair build. And for this part, we're gonna take and learn how to use a new tool. But before we do that, we need to take and we need to cut our corners round. So we're gonna use this little lid that I found in the shop to draw those corners round just by placing it flush on the edges. And then I just printed out a little letter K that I wanna put on the back. So I'm gonna cut that out as well for Mr. Cardinal. And uh, once I've marked all those out, maybe I'll just show you some quick video of me doing the cutting uh, with the jigsaw. If you take a look, if you take a look at um, these corners, if we look really close, you can see that I left the line. I cut just, just beside the line here. And that allows me to sand to the line on my, on my sander. So, I think we're ready for the sanders. We've got those cut out. And uh, let's get on to the Laguna DB126 stationary belt disc sander. Okay, it's been the moment you've been waiting for, the reveal of the DB-126, the Laguna DB-126 stationary disc and belt sander. Now, these tools, as of, as with many of our tools in the shop, are quite dangerous because they spin, and anything that spins can tangle things up like hair and jewelry, anything long lanyards, and it can get wrapped up in the machine. So make sure you are safe on this machine because it will win the fight. And um, these machines take off material very quickly. The reason we call it a DB126 is because it has a 12 inch disc and a six inch belt. Now coming over to this, I see that this disc needs to be changed. It is very well used. Somebody was uh, burning up some wood on here. So, so this I have to change. If it was a little bit maybe cleaner, I would actually attempt to clean it with one of these, these cleaning sticks. These are just kind of a rubber deal that look like an eraser where you press it against the, the machine just as if you were using, using the machine and it cleans them up nicely. So it takes me about 20, 30 minutes to change this disc, so I'm not gonna change the disc now, but I will still explain how to use it as the uh, belt for you today. Okay, so a few things that you need to know when you're using this machine. Number one, when you're putting the uh, material on the table, make sure that it's flat. Make sure this is 90 degrees too, you can check that, I've done that already. But make sure the board is flat. Make sure your fingers are about two inches or more away, so about that far from the, from the belt or the disc. This is really the danger zone right here where this comes through. If you were to put your finger in there, it would get sanded very, very badly. Yeah, so let's keep our fingers far away from that. And the third thing is we want to have the vents on. This creates tons of dust. So I'll be turning those on shortly. So we're gonna just take and to do this properly, you want to you want to work to that line that you drew and just work in a in a fluid manner. Okay, so you can sand, keeping it flat, and just rotate your board and just keep it in those areas a little bit longer that you need to uh, sand a little bit more off of. On the disc side over here, because the disc spins in a clockwise direction, you can only use the right side of the disc. So you can't use this side because if you were to use this side and it was to go up, 
it turn, it would just spit your board upwards. So we don't want to do that. We don't want our board to spit up. We want the it to push it down, the disc to push it in the down position, in the down direction that is. Okay? So I'll just show you this one here before the vents go on. Turn that on. Now, if you're using a, any of these machines and they need the um, disc or the belt changed, you're going to notice that it burns quite a bit. And I hardly even used the machine for seconds. So you would want to change this before you used it. You just couldn't clean it. If you want to see what the cleaning looks like, this is what it looks like. Just turn it on. Place the uh, cleaning stick. Then you would try to get that uh, clean and usable. But I think it's just too far gone, so we're not going to waste any cleaning stick. Just want to see when it stops. Yeah, it didn't really do too much. We're going to have to have to replace that. And it works the same for here. So if you want to use the cleaning stick on this one. Now we don't want to overuse the cleaning stick. It's just there um, to prolong, to increase the length and the longevity of the, um, the belt and the disc. And if we use this too much, then obviously these are quite expensive and becomes a pointless after a while. Okay, so I'm just gonna go turn those vents on and then I'll show you. Okay, let's do some sanding. It's so exciting. Make sure your vent gates are on and open. You can shut some of the other ones if we want. Get a little bit more air. Turn that on. both ways. It doesn't matter. And because this one is pretty pretty good shape, that belt, we don't have any burning. So we want. So you can see I have a backhand supporting the material and a front keeping it flat against the table. We're sanding end grain, and end grain is really dense. Beautiful. Other side. want to be comfortable. You don't want to be leaning into the machine. Just be in a comfortable stance so that you're not off balance. That's really important with any Obviously, the closer you cut to the line with the jigsaw, the less sanding you have to do. But that comes with time. Okay, one more board. edges that are sanded and ready for a next step which I thought was going to be the sanding on the uh, on the palm sanders but I think we're going to router the edges first before we get into that uh, palm sanding business and that brings us to the end of the combination Laguna DB126 belt disc sander 
And uh, next video will be on the router table where we take and router out our edges. We're just going to put a little round over on those edges again just to make it a little bit more smooth, a little bit nicer to handle and to sit on. So that will be part 10 of the Viking Chair series. See you next time.